Well, good afternoon. I'm gonna make a short little video here of this uh, fuel tank rehab. Uh, a friend of mine a couple of weeks ago had a whole bunch of G506 parts that uh, he was finished with. And one of them was this fuel tank. It's a 30 gallon tank. They were galvanized, uh, interior and exterior, from the factory. And uh, this one's in really good shape. So I'm going to do a quick walk around and explain what's going on here. Is I have the uh, shop vac blowing air into the tank to dry it out. And what I have done over the past two days is I've cleaned the minimal surface rust out of the tank with muriatic acid and water. And what that'll do is dissolve the rust and also find small weep holes. Which I did find that this tank has too. One of the holes is right here. I can't show you the other one because it's underneath uh, the filler neck. But it's just a small drip and uh, easily taken care of with uh, some solder and a little piece of 22 gauge steel. That's uh, the thickness is 22 gauge, real thin. Anyway, so I properly disposed of the muriatic acid and then I filled the fuel tank again with uh, baking soda and water. The muriatic acid ratio was two gallons to 28 gallons of water. And right now, uh, <laughs> looks like the battery's flashing, so this may go dead, but I'll finish up real fast because there'll be a few of them right now. The shop vac is blowing warm air into the tank to dry out the residual water. I'll let that run for about an hour, and then I'll start working on it. Clean the paint off, clean the tar paper off, which is here, both sides solder up the holes and I will make mention of the vented fill neck later. Okay, be right back. 